One of the most powerful aspects of the retreat is that we can be us as priests and to be able to uh, let our hair down even though I'm bald, uh, to be able to uh, be real with each other, to be vulnerable. Getting to come here and with my fellow deacons, my brother deacons, and spending some time with them, personal time, and in the meetings, and then getting me some wonderful priests um, th from throughout the United States and Canada. It's just been awesome. Even though this is my first year and I'm still only a seminarian, is that I felt like Father Dave and the rest of the presenters at certain times were speaking directly to me. Like there could have been no one else at the conference and this would have been a personal retreat for me. The priestly fraternity during this week is, is beautiful. We eat together, we pray together, we laugh together, we joke together. Um, we do a lot of things uh, together and, and so uh, just that priestly fraternity that is so desperately needed, uh, especially in this crazy world we're living in, uh, is, is something that is just something that everyone looks forward to that comes to this retreat. Being here with, with the music and the people, it just, it just awakened the spirit to allow me to, to better understand the Abba Father. We prayed vibrantly every day. It wasn't just like, you know, running through the motions or, or just doing the typical prayers that we do as priests, but it was vibrant uh, prayer that was alive and joyful. Sometimes ministry can be lonely. It just brings that group together and says, you know, we're all here together. There's a lot of us working for the Lord. It reinvigorates you knowing that there's that many people out there uh, you know, believing and doing the same things you are. I love my priesthood even more now because of these retreats and, and I can't wait to continue to come and, and, and to be fed here and to minister to my brothers.